Hey everyone, my name is Srini Rao and I am the co-founder of NotionEssentials.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what Notion is, uh, why you should use it, and what it makes possible. So Notion is an all-in-one workspace that helps you replace multiple apps and tools. And if you're like most people, you probably have one tool for communicating with people, one tool for managing projects, another for managing day-to-day -day tasks, um, potentially another one for creating content or writing or creating any kind of documents. And Notion basically allows you to do everything from managing projects to capturing tasks to creating content. It's like a central location and a central tool for all of the most important things in your personal and professional life. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started and some of what you can do with Notion. And if you want to get a personal workflow audit uh, that's absolutely free, just sign up for a 20 minute consult with us. Uh, just go to notionessentials.com and book an appointment and my co-founder will be in touch with you. So let's get into this. So the key ingredient that makes Notion work is what is known as the block. And Notion has some basic blocks as you can see here. And the metaphor that uh, you'll often come across when people are describing Notion uh, when it comes to blocks is this is the equivalent of digital Lego. So if you think about it, uh, imagine building things with Lego, but instead you're doing it in a digital setting and you have all these different blocks. Now, the basic building block that really I think makes the biggest difference is a page. So every one of these is a page. And then of course, within a page, you have different blocks. Sometimes you have pages within pages as I do in this case. So one of the first things I wanna show you is how you can use Notion to create content. Um, so I have a section or a page called free writing. And as you can see here, I've actually organized it into sub pages, uh, which basically is, is one for each month. And within the month, I have a table here. And I do this because it's a great way to organize information. It allows me to see what I've created when, I can go back and I can look. But uh, free writing is a very simple process that came from the work of Julia Cameron, who wrote a book called The Artist Way, where she talked about morning pages. And this is basically a way for people to do morning pages. Now, often in your morning pages, you're gonna end up coming up with ideas and you know potentially things that if you're a blogger or you're a content creator that you wanna actually create as a blog post. So the beautiful thing about Notion is that you can actually create an editorial calendar and you can actually come up with your own status. You can use deadlines. Um, and you can see here that uh, I basically have a blog post in progress and you can actually see you know, what keywords you wanna rank. So you can actually create all of this different stuff on your own. But as you'll see here, what we basically are doing is taking stuff that was in free writing and starting to map out a blog post. You can see here that you have headers, you have um, standard text, you can use H1s, H2s, and H3s. Um, the beautiful thing is you can link things and then you can cut and paste directly into tools like WordPress or if you use things like Markdown, you can export directly from Markdown. So that's one of the first basic functions. I think that as a writer, I was able to replace probably two or three different writing tools um, and basically only use Notion for all of my writing. So Notion has become an integral part of my content creation process as a writer and a blogger. So let me go back to the workspace. So the workspace is really where you're gonna land for the first time. And the workspace is pretty much where you'll end up at every single time you open up Notion. And that's why I think it's really important to have a very clearly defined structure to your workspace. Like I said, in this case, what I'm doing is using a structure called Para, which actually comes from my friend Tiago Forte, uh, who runs a company called Praxis and uh, does some amazing work uh, over at his blog. So definitely check him out. Um, but the thing that uh, you know this allows you to do, we just showed you areas of responsibility, but inside of areas of responsibility, I also have day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, my biggest project that I do outside of Notion Essentials is something called the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And every day, I have different tasks that have to get done for the podcast. And as you can see here, um, I have a task, and then basically I can say, okay, this is next up. This is you know something that I need to do today. I can give every single task a due date. And this allows me to kind of stay on top of what I have going on without having to constantly switch back and forth between different apps. So I can do my writing and I can manage my day-to-day -day tasks inside the same app. Um, as you can see here, I have you know other stuff that basically is considered sort of day-to-day -day stuff, stuff that I know that I'm doing every day. Um, one other thing that I do is I like to write my emails inside of Notion before I actually use my email client to send them because that way I don't get distracted by emails that I'm receiving and it ends up being a nice little email hack that saves you a ton of time. So that's one really great way they can use it is just day-to-day -day task management, day-to-day -day content creation, whatever it is that you're doing day-to-day. -day. So 
Another way that you can use Notion is by uh, to manage projects. Now, at any given time, every one of us is working on several different projects, and we actually created a project template that's based on Scott Belsky's book, uh, Making Ideas Happen. So he separates it into a framework, and again, like I mentioned, one of the keys to making this as effective as possible is having some sort of organizational framework. Uh, and if you need help with that, like I said, sign up for a personal workflow audit and we can work with you on that. Um, just go to notionessentials.com. But let's use notionessentials.com as an example. So, you know, we've started work on Notion Essentials. You can see here I'm communicating with my teammates. Um, but basically what we have here are three key components that go into any project. Um, and that is action steps, reference materials, and back burner items. So, as I said, these actually come from Scott Belsky's book, Making Ideas Happen. And basically, an action step is you know an action that you need towards a particular outcome. So in this case, for example, one of our projects was to get Notion Essentials off the ground. And you can see here, record a new video about getting started with Notion, which is a task that I'm literally doing right now as you're watching this video. Uh, but the thing that is also really nice about this is it allows you to stay on top of things. Reference materials, are, on the other hand, are basically exactly what they sound like. Um, just you know things that are related so for example my roommate Tim and my co-founder um, gave me feedback on one of the landing pages that we did for Notion Essentials and I put that feedback here um, another thing we did was we created a, a work what uh, mind map to show what a typical workflow looks like so these are all just you know reference materials things that we're talking about sometimes they go in action items sometimes they don't but knowing where all these things are at is really really valuable and it ends up making it quite easy to continually follow through on things. So you can see here that I use the same structure for pretty much any project that I'm working on. Uh, right now I'm enrolled in an online course called Call to Action by Ramit Sethi, and you can see here, again, I have this um, <coughs> structure of action steps, uh, reference material. So for example, today one of the uh, tasks inside of the course was to rewrite my About page, and you can see here that I'm able to actually continually stay on top of things because I have everything in this one place. Um, all inside of Notion, like I know all of the projects that I'm currently working on, and as a result, I keep making um, progress on them in a way that I never had before prior to using Notion. So if you're really struggling with distraction, attention management, you know, moving your attention from a thousand different apps or a thousand different tabs, this is a really great way to deal with that. And pretty much all the research shows that there's probably nothing worse for your attention than constant context switching. Now, you know, we're talking about Notion primarily as a sort of tool to get work done, but we also live in a world where we consume a lot of information, probably more so than any other time in history. In fact, one of the things that often comes up is you'll consume information and you probably don't remember anything about it. You might have read a blog post yesterday and you thought, oh, this is a great blog post. Uh, and then if you, you try to remember what it was tomorrow, what the title was, you can't remember. Fortunately, Notion helps you um, basically deal with that. So I created what I called a personal knowledge base, but you can see here that um, we have a bunch of different things here, you know, tutorials, uh, you know, for our team members in terms of how to do certain processes within our business. But inside of the personal knowledge base, you can do a number of different things. You can take notes on books you've read. You can, you know, take notes and, and do exercises from, you know, different things. I have notes from seminars in here, but one of my favorite ones uh, inside of the personal knowledge base is the reading list. And I love the reading list because it's a really great way not only to track the books that you've read, but to capture all the best ideas from the books you've read. So as you'll see here, you know, we're looking at a book called um, Brave New Work by Aaron Dignan, uh, you know, and who was a guest on the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And basically, I wanted to capture all of the most valuable insights from the book um, based on my conversation with him. And you can see here that you can build this like massive personal uh, knowledge base from all the various books that you've read. So that way... Anytime you want ideas or you want access to information uh, that you've consumed in the past, you can actually access it you know, just by doing a quick search. You'll also see here one of the nice things about working with a database in this way is you can actually tag things. So for example, if it's like I want to know about all the books that are about artificial intelligence, I can actually find books that are about artificial intelligence or say, hey, show me all the books that are about productivity. The other thing is that we can actually filter information based on certain criteria. So for example, you can say, okay, show tasks assigned to me. In this case, we're not looking at tasks, but let's say that you know, I added a filter where I can say, okay, the topic is only, um, let's just do this as an example. The topic uh, it contains productivity. And then you'll see that basically all I'll be looking at are the various productivity books. So that's one thing you can do. Um, so Notion ends up being this really, really valuable tool in terms of being able to manage information, to actually get real work done, and then also not spend a ton of time 
finding and, and searching for information because that often becomes one of our biggest problems is that we have information in silos and so if you have to you know search a dozen dropbox folders look in your inbox um, you know search your hard drive then you end up wasting a ton of time looking for things it's a bit like looking for your keys when all you really want to do is get in the car and drive so this is a, a very high level overview of you know what notion is what's possible with it um, these are just a few of the things that you can do it's incredibly powerful uh, the list goes on and on in terms of what you can do. We're always discovering new ways to use it. Uh, but if you're struggling with managing your attention, getting things done, staying productive, uh, Notion is a, a fantastic tool. And if you want to receive a free personal workflow audit, just visit notionessentials.com and fill out our questionnaire, book a 20 minute consult with us, and we will actually sit down with you and give you a personal workflow audit. And again, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to just ask us in the comments below.